Hi, my name is Emmanuel from Calanza, and I am a project manager at MACB Limited, a technical and innovation consulting bureau based in the island of Malta. MSB has a considerable experience in the development of training material, especially in the field of digital innovation. And this is reflected in the company's membership of the EU Digital Skills and Jobs Coalition for contributions it makes to the development and take up of digital technologies. At the moment, the company is in fact participating in a number of projects in the field of Industry 4.0. Uh, these include Direction 4.0 and C4.0. These are projects which are aimed and directed uh, towards supporting SMEs and small European enterprises bridge their skills uh, on Industry 4.0 and improve um, the skills within their workforce, especially within VAT um, workforces with respect to digital technologies and Industry 4.0 technologies, as well as Digi4 Health. Digi4 Health is a, is a project which is aimed at uh, the medical industry and the use of uh, digital technologies within the medical industry. Uh, in terms of the type of technologies that, that our projects incorporate, these are various, obviously, because we're looking at the spectrum of the different Industry 4.0 technologies. And these range from augmented and virtual reality to 3D printing, robotics, automation, uh, as well as, as uh, artificial intelligence, cloud computing, safety and security. So uh, these Industry 4.0 technologies vary very widely. And um, in order to, to uh, pass on the skills which are required, and, and make sure that enterprises are prepared to take on these digital challenges and, and step up towards Industry 4.0, it's important to be covering this wide range of, of different topics. Um, in terms of the trends that we're seeing in Industry 4.0, again, uh, these uh, in themselves uh, vary significantly. Obviously, uh, in the past uh, years, we've seen a number of these, including the increased use of artificial intelligence and, and robotics. Obviously, these are based on uh, the increased dependence and use of uh, IoT, Internet of Things technologies within workplaces. So the availability of increased amount of data which is being collected on uh, in workplaces means that this data has to be somewhat transmitted and uh, somewhat, somewhat collected on the cloud and analyzed uh, within these remote uh, data centers in order to provide uh, business intelligence then uh, to the companies and actually make use of the data which is being collected. Over here, therefore, we're seeing the increased requirement uh, in terms of knowledge of how to connect different systems to each other and, and uh, hence uh, the increased dependence on, on uh, networking and connectivity, uh, which is then in itself driving the need for uh, new methods and new means for data analytics in order to actually extract um, the business intelligence, which is required to actually improve company operations. Uh, that is from one end. On the other end, we're seeing uh, an increased requirement for automation. Uh, when we automate more, uh, new problems and new challenges group up. We're seeing I won't say a resurgence, but an increased requirement in terms of, of robotics uh, as well as part of automation. And uh, we've seen an, uh, a new field, that of collaborative uh, robotics, which is emerging now within the industrial automation field. I think this concept of human in the loop, so having the human working collaboratively together with, with robots on the shop floor is a trend that we're going to be seeing increasing in the coming years. Uh, whilst we are automating more, yes, 
but we are automating activities where the human is still centered and therefore the needs to collaborate and the, the need to have robots which are working hand in hand with humans is going to increase uh, in the coming years. Obviously, then it's, uh, this in itself then creates new opportunities and challenges. So we are seeing an increased trend as well to uh, taking considerations such as safety and security in, in the workplace. So some concepts such as security uh, in networking of automation systems were not so uh, prevalent until a few years ago because um, automation systems tended to be isolated islands and therefore access to these islands was somehow limited. Nowadays, because we're speaking about Internet of Things connectivity, data being exchanged, uh, security starts to play a bigger role. And hence, it's, it's one of the emerging trends within Industry 4.0. So if I had to summarize, I would say Internet of Things and data connectivity, collaborative robotics and safety and security are the trends that we are seeing on the increase with respect to digital technologies and obviously the skills which are required in these areas. In terms of uh, challenges, um, they're very much related to these trends. So uh, obviously having uh, a workforce which is skilled enough and knowledgeable enough to develop solutions in this field is, is something which is critical. Solutions cannot be developed uh, unless one has the um, the skills and the knowledge uh, which span quite a large range of technologies. So whereas uh, in previous years one could ha have a better focus on, on a single technology and that technology is working independently of others, nowadays we're seeing technologies which are being used together. And therefore, uh, in order to integrate these solutions, one needs to have a larger range of skills. And this is currently a very big challenge because there are, aren't many um, highly skilled workers that are capable of uniting these different technologies in order to drive innovative solutions. So uh, at the moment, uh, companies are facing the, this very large challenge of making sure that their workforce can actually deal um, with these increased pressures of, of uh, learning, learning on the job and uh, learning new technologies, technologies which are sometimes not very well defined. So. Um, uh, even in terms of, of uh, the technologies may not yet have uh, achieved maturity and therefore um, not available as of the self solutions that are easy to integrate within the workplace and hence uh, and degree of development would and customization of a solution for a particular problem would be required and hence the amount of skills and the amount of knowledge which is required is increased. We're also seeing the merging of IT and OT, so information technology and operation technology and over here again. Uh, typically the problems are divergent, they're very different uh, in, in terms of the challenges that these two systems used to offer. But now that we are converging these together because we're networking, we're combining these aspects on the same platforms, and these are generating uh, new difficulties and new issues in order uh, to have even professionals that um, need to work together and ideally need to be capable of, of um, uh, speaking the same language in terms of, of the technologies which are being used. Um, obviously, this is a big advantage uh, once that a company can harness these technologies to bring forward new innovations and new ways of developing technology.